So in this tutorial we're going to look at adding fractions. So let's take an example. Let's take one half add one quarter. Now to begin with let's look at this visually. So let's draw a square and let's separate that square into four equal parts like that. Now in our calculation we start with a half so let's fill in half of our square here and then we're told to add a quarter so let's add that quarter in and fill in a quarter of the square. Now in our square you can see that we filled in three quarters of it one quarter here another quarter here and the third quarter here so we filled in three quarters one half plus one quarter has given us three quarters. Now that's sort of showing you how to do it visually but in maths there's a mathematical way to do it and this is, is very useful for when we get to slightly more complicated calculations. Now the way to do it mathematically is to make the denominator of both fractions the same so that the denominator on the bottom in this part of the calculation is two we have two on the bottom of our half, that's a denominator. And on the quarter, our denominator is four, the bottom part of the fraction. So we need to make both these numbers the same. Now the way we can do this is by making this two over here into a four. And to do that, we need to multiply by two, because two times two is four. Now the rule with fractions is whatever we do to the denominator on the bottom we must almost we must al always do to the numerator on top. So we must also times the 1 on top by 2. Now if we complete this side of the calculation we have 1 times 2 on the top to give us 2 and we have 2 times 2 on the bottom to give us 4 and then we add that to the other side of the calculation which is our quarter. And we can see now that we have two denominators that are the same. We have four on both parts of our calculation. And then it becomes quite straightforward because we simply add the top part of the fraction first to give us three. And then we always keep the denominator the same. So you don't add, you don't do four plus four equals eight. You keep that the same. So you keep the four there, because we've got the common denominator. So we keep the four and we get our answer of three quarters, which we can see is the same as when we did it visually up here. So one half plus one quarter gives us three quarters. Let's take a look at another example. Let's look at one third plus two ninths. So in this example we have the denominators of three and nine. So in one third we have three on the bottom and in two ninths we have nine on the bottom. So again, we need, we need to make these denominators the same. Now we can see that the way to make 3 into 9 is to times that by 3. And remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we must almost do to the numerator, the 1 here on top. So we must, almost, we must, al al we must always times that by 3 as well. So if we have 1 times 3 for the numerator of 1 third, for the 1, we get 3 on top. And if we do 3 times 3, we get 9 on the bottom for our denominator. And then we can add that to our 2 ninths. And we can see now that we've got the same denominator on both parts of the calculation. They both have a 9. And then we can complete our calculation. So we can add the 2 to the, th the two here to the 3 on top, which gives us 5. 
and then as per our last example we always keep the denominators the same so we stick with our 9 and we get our answer of 5 ninths. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's take 3 quarters plus 1 third. Now in the previous example we were able to change just one of the denominators and it was on the left hand part of the calculation. In this example we can't actually do that because we can't make the 4 into the same number as the 3. Or at least it would be very complicated to do that. It's not the simple method that we want to use. So in this example we need to find a common multiple of both of these numbers. Now there's a separate video on common multiples to, to look at. But in this case if you know your common multiples you'll know that the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is 12. So in order to get to 12 on both denominators we need to do 4 times 3 on this one and to make 3 into 12 we need to times by 4. And remember the golden rule with fractions is whatever we do to the denominator we must almost do to the top number, the numerator. So if we times the bottom by 3 here we must times the top by 3 as well. And similarly, on this part of the calculation, the one-third, we're timesing the bottom, the denominator, by four. So we must times the top, the numerator, by four as well. So if we follow this through, on the left-hand part of our calculation, we'll have nine on top as our numerator, because three times three is nine, and then twelve on the bottom because 4 times 3 is 12. And then we're going to add that to the right hand side of our calculation and we have 1 times 4 on top for our numerator. So we get 4 on top here and then we have 3 times 4 for our denominator which gives us 12. So we have 9 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. And then we follow the same method through as per the previous two examples. So we add the top part of the fraction. And that gives us 9 plus 4, which is 13. And then we keep the bottom part, we keep our denominator the same to give us 13 twelfths. Now always remember that you'll be asked to give your fraction in its simplest simplest terms and we can see that here we've got a top heavy fraction again there's another video on uh, converting top heavy or sometimes called vulgar fractions into mixed fractions and so to do that to complete our answer here so you can see that video if, if you're not, not sure how to do this but to complete our answer here we get to a final answer of one and one twelfth